Matia Valley boys water polo with one of the strongest seasons in program history. Facing an incredibly tough challenge against Cam Doherty and the defending state champions from Naperville Central. Early in the first quarter, Redhawks looking to strike quickly, but Matia Valley goalie Jimmy Cronin with a great stop to keep the game scoreless. You can only keep Central off the board for so long. Some quick passing gets the ball to Luke Klein Collins for the opening goal of the match. Matia trying to even things up as Jonathan Duvall unleashes a shot, but Jonah Klein Collins corrals the ball for the save. Redhawks add to the lead late in the first as Bender Russo finds Henry Mills for the goal, 2 0 Central after the first. Early in the second, Matia offense finds a groove as Colin Sesney feeds Brady Erdman for the goal. Mustangs on the board down 2 to 1. Moments later, Isaac Norn with a perfect pass to Luke Klein Collins, who makes a great play to palm the ball and shoot in one motion and get the goal to go, putting the Redhawks back up by two. Mustangs not going away. Sesney dumps it in for Tyler Flanders, whose shot drifts just over the line for the goal. MV down one, three to two. Central again has the answer as Cam Doherty with a fantastic skipping shot into the corner. Redhawks lead 5-2 at the break. Early in the second half, Fender Russo passes to Brad Sanford, who uses a powerful lefty shot to score his second goal, and see up by four. Matia doesn't give up. Brady Erdman powers his second goal past the deflection of Jonah Klein Collins to pull his team closer. More great ball movement. Mark LeBeau to Henry Mills to Luke Klein Collins in a blink. And just like that, Naperville Central leads 9-3 after the third. Brad Sanford looks to add on with the penalty shot, but Jimmy Cronin makes a great stop to keep a glimmer of hope alive. But Central just too much to handle. Bender Russo with another assist to Sanford, who scores his third goal. Redhawks move on to the sectional championship to face Nequa Valley as the quest for state title number three rolls on. Yeah, we, we love the playoffs. I mean, Naperville Central Water Polo, we're known for making the playoffs. I mean, we have the legacy. Uh, I mean, we're looking for the third state championship in the past four years. So, yeah, we're just hoping for the, for the dub. Naperville Central, they're just constant shooting. They run the ball as close to the goal as possible, which is incredibly tough. You have to kind of come up with out of nothing out of nowhere just to make a block. Uh, I think the team played really well. Like In the first half, we came out a little bit discombobulated. Um, but in the second half, we really pulled through and started swimming through to the two and ended up getting our shots to fall. So this is our tied for our highest placing in sectional history. So this is very exciting for us to know that we're among one of the top teams. This is our highest state-ranked season ever. So to kind of get over that a new school pushover team is really big for us. Yeah, I've, I've known Jimmy for a few years and he played fantastic and I'm always trying to one-up him and he played really well tonight and uh, I think it was just a good competition and two good teams playing together. Yeah, I mean the score, uh, when you look at the board it was a little discombobulated, you know, we came out a little slow and uh, we just pulled it together in the second half, but we, we have this we have the Santa because most of us do swim teams so that really helps us wear teams down in the second half.